All of the polls in Georgia are now closed and results are rolling in from an unusual primary election night. The Secretary of State just started entering results on their website in the past hour. Amid a pandemic, while learning new voting machines and dealing with technical problems in many Georgia counties, Georgians headed to the polls today to elect mayors, district attorneys, and commissioners. Tonight, we have team coverage to bring you the results as they come in. Chelsea Bimefor is at the Bibb County Board of Elections. Election officials started releasing some results about an hour ago. Zach Merchant is in Macon along with Wanye Reese to give perspective on the Macon Bibb mayor's race. Chelsea leads off our team coverage tonight to help explain why results are coming in a little later than usual this election night. Chelsea. Well, Frank and Lori, about three and a half hours after polls closed, Macon Bibb began reporting some initial results, but before they could get to those, they had to work through a few flaws in the system this morning. This is, of course, the first time that voters and volunteers have used these new Georgia voting machines. Now, all day, we've been reporting on long lines and some technical difficulties, but Macon Bibb Board of Elections Chairman Mike Kaplan says some of that is just expected between new machinery and a global pandemic. Overall, Kaplan says today has run pretty smoothly. We had our we had some troubles early this morning, but but a lot of that was due, in my opinion, to, to poll workers who were having to train remotely on new machines they had never seen and having to social distance at the same time. And I think we had some early problems early on, but I think they got resolved and everybody was able to get the vote in. Now, Kaplan says they are having to fix some absentee ballot uh, problems. He says some people use check marks or X's on their mail in ballots when they should have fully filled in the bubble next to the candidate that they were choosing to vote for. Now, the state has given all counties across Georgia until Friday to count those absentee ballots since thousand more people thousands more people have voted by mail during the pandemic than in a typical election year. For now, reporting live in Macon, Chelsea Bime 4, 13 W WMAZ News. Thank you, Chelsea. Our team coverage continues in Bibb County tonight, where five candidates vying to become the next mayor of Macon Bibb. Right now, with precincts still reporting, Lester Miller has 41% of the vote, Clifford Whitby with 29% of the vote. Blake Sullivan, Larry Schlesinger, and Mark Whitfield round out that field. Lester Miller's campaign is downtown Macon, and that's where Zach Merchant is right now. We go to him live. Yeah, Frank, as you mentioned, Lester Miller is now out to an early lead in this five-way contest to decide Macon's next mayor. According to the latest release from the Bibb County Board of Elections, Lester Miller has about 7,000 votes, which is roughly 40% of the results that have been released so far. Clifford Whitby follows in second place with about 5,000 votes. That's roughly 30% of the results that have been released so far. But we want to stress that these are still early results. Only about 20% of all the votes have been reported so far, according to the Bibb County Board of Elections. And to win outright tonight, a candidate needs more than 50% of all the votes cast in this race. And if nobody gets to that point, the top two vote getters will head to a runoff election in August. We just spoke with Lester Miller about 20, maybe 30 minutes ago, and he says he is still hopeful that he will win outright in this race. But he does admit a runoff may not be out of the question either. Well, I think there's a distinct possibility that it could be an outright, outright win. Um, but, you know, it's too close to call right now. And it looks like it could go either way as far as uh, whether it's going to be a runoff or not. So we, we're always hoping for the best, and we want that 50 plus one. Uh, if we can't get better than that, right now it's tracking it. It looks like it's going to be a possible runoff. Uh, we're going to come up a little short of trying to win it outright if we track the way we're doing now. And we are still waiting on more results in this race to be released by the Bibb County Board of Elections. Live in Macon, Zach Merchant, 13 WMAZ News. All right, thank you, Zach. We continue our team coverage in East Macon. That's where Clifford Whitby's campaign is starting to get the results in. Wanye Reese is live at Whitby headquarters. Well, Frank, there has been a feeling of optimism in around 1030 Clifford Whitby. He actually came here to greet his supporters and just within the past few seconds, he did agree to do a live interview with us this evening. So if you don't mind just coming on over here, Mr. Whitby, um, my first question for you, you gave a very, very powerful speech. Can you just tell us once again for the viewers at home, what was it about? Uh, first, thank you guys. Uh, thank you, uh, Make and Be a Voters. We are delighted. I also want to thank my supporters and all the volunteers. Um, we started this campaign uh, October the 4th. 
um, with a, um, a bunch of uh, volunteers who just felt we needed better, we needed more. Uh, and over the last few weeks, uh, our campaign platform, Equity, Balance, and Fair Play, has crystallized for the world and certainly for right here in Macon Bib. Um, so I wanted Macon Bib and my supporters to know that we aren't wavering one bit. We will continue to fight for fairness, uh, equity, balance, and fair play for this community. And believe me, regardless of the outcome uh, tonight, what we've started October the 4th can end. Yes, sir. And across the state, they've been reporting issues at polling locations. What's your reaction to that? There's a lot of work to be done. Uh, there's a great deal of it. It's, it's, it's widely known, the gerrymandering, uh, the voter suppression, all of those issues that, that exist uh, for a reason. That's what this election is about, leadership that will fight for balance, fairness, equity, opportunity for these citizens, and nothing's more critical than a person's right to vote and cast their vote unrestricted, without, without all of the games, without all of the schemes and the desire to suppress the votes uh, and um, uh, uh, um, make the, the process far more difficult than it really have to be. So that's what our campaign is about, fighting for fairness. Yes, sir. And my last question, on a personal note, how are you, just, how are you feeling about everything? I can't tell you how excited I am to, when I look at these young people, some of them voted for the first time, getting involved in the process. With these young people and, and people getting involved in the process, we're going to change making bib. We will turn making bib around, and there is no turning back now. Mm -hmm. And Whitby earlier, he did acknowledge that this is going to be a long night, Frank. But of course, we are going to be staying here as those results continue to roll in. So make sure you stay up to date with us on air and online. Live in Macon, Wanye Reese, 13 WMAZ News. All right, Wanye, thanks very much. Live tonight at Clifford Whitby headquarters. Not only will Macon Bibb have a new mayor, their commission will look a lot different after this election. Ashlyn Webb spoke with some of the candidates. Yeah, tonight's a big night for the commission. We're guaranteed to have four new commissioners and four incumbents are being challenged this year. Candidates are running to fill seats for Commissioner Larry Schlesinger, Joe Allen, Burt Bivens, and Scotty Shepard. Commissioners Valerie Wynn, Mallory Jones, Virgil Watkins, and Mayor Pro Tem Al Tillman are trying to keep their seats. I talked to some of the candidates on how they spent their election day. We're out there all day waving and, and talking to people. We've been out all day talking to voters last minute. And waving signs and, um, and it's just a really, we just feel really good. It was, a, it was a very, very, very good day. But after a big day campaigning, these candidates are spending a long night waiting. Listen, I'm feeling excited about the election. I'm ready for this to be over where I can get back to work. I think we should be bracing ourselves for somewhat of a long night or a long couple of days, honestly. Though many of the candidates want to see results as soon as possible, they want to make sure every vote is counted. I'm not confident of anything until all the votes are counted and all the ballots, all the absentees are counted. We need to take the time that we need to to count every vote and make sure that it's counted. Now we're still waiting for some more results, but we'll keep you guys updated. In Macon, Ashland Webb, 13 WMAZ News.